on today's episode of There's Not Good Food, I Ain't Going. We're talking about Destin, Fort Walton, Florida. So this is a little tiny town on the panhandle of Florida, and I was there for Lionfish Restaurant Week. What is a lionfish? That is a lionfish. It is an invasive species that is taking over the Gulf of Mexico. And this one town in Florida has found a way to not only make it a destination, a food destination, but to also combat this invasive species. How they organized this, it is entirely because of this one man named Alex Fogg. I wrote about all of this for Food 52, and I'll put the link to that down below. Now, what are you looking at right here? Destin Fort Walton gave me the hookup. I'm not even going to lie. It was just me. I am child-free and single, and they gave me a three-bedroom, two-bathroom with a soaker tub and two balconies. Excuse me? For a week, excuse me? And, like, I was right on the water. I was right by the boardwalk. I was in the middle of everything. Excuse me? (laughs) Got me feeling so fancy. Now, it wasn't super pretty out this day, but I promise you it got so much better. Like, this day just had to show off this fit. Also, that was thrifted. <laughs> Who am I? Anyway, what's the vibe of Destin Fort Walton? Um, It is a military town. For some people, that's a pro. For some people, that's a con. What was my experience? I really loved it there. Um, I think that it's a very cute, very family-oriented town. Will you come across a lot of Trump flags? Yeah. Yeah. That was a little, that was a little disconcerting <laughs> for me. Um, But do you see a lot of incredible, incredibly attractive military men. Yes. Are they all married? Yes. Um, did I participate in anything? Absolutely not. Cause I know better. This lady with two thumbs, she was, she was taught better. Now this trip that you're seeing right here. Yay. <laughs> this was me going on my first deep sea fishing excursion. It was me and two other women, one of which is a boat captain. She's the only Latina boat captain in Florida, definitely, possibly more though. I also got a chance to write about her for Essence. This fish, I feel so bad for this fish for multiple reasons. I'll, it's alive, right? I just caught it. I wanted to take a couple pictures and then put it back. See, I didn't realize that it was fighting for its life though against me. And then a dolphin came around and we were like, oh no, no, no. He's just trying to get these little swimmies back. Dolphin, leave him alone. And then we're like, okay, I think the dolphin's going to leave him. No, dolphin just circled back. And then Akuna Matata, we watched the circle of life in action. Now, I felt terrible for the fish because I was also tired. But I guess, you know, the dolphin, everybody's got to eat. Everybody's got to eat. Now, there were other downfalls because of that fish. See that amazing picture? I got shadow banned on TikTok because of that picture. But in other news, you see the amount of effort I'm putting in right here? There was a shark on the other end of that. I almost hauled in a shark. Have you ever felt so powerful? I've never felt sexier in my life. So Dustin Fort Walton did a lot for me. It did a lot for me personally. It did a lot for my ego. It did a lot for my spirit, some could say. Um, everything that you see right here has lionfish in it. Now, here's the misconception about lionfish. Lionfish is venomous, not poisonous. Also, all you feet people, you back up. Back up. I just wanted to show you how clear this water is. So lionfish is poisonous, not venomous. So that means that as long as you handle it properly, it can be eaten. It is a very delicate white fish. It's lightly sweet, in my opinion. Um, And it handles season, like all kinds of seasoning very well. While I was in Destin Fort Walton, I had it in a Japanese interpretation. I had it in a, who is that? Oh my God, who is that? Um, yeah, I had it in a whole bunch of interpretations and I want to talk about this specific restaurant because that was the best burger I've had in the United States, period. Bitterroot, if you are in town, go to Bitterroot. Cocktails and food, top 10. Also, it says famous crab cakes. These are the best crab cakes I've ever had in my life made by this guy. Made by this guy and get this sauce. Oh my God, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl trying my best, living my life, no kids, vibing. And this place, black owned, black owned. Now, in my opinion, the donuts were a little bit too sweet, but go there anyway. Like the owners are the cutest people ever. And look at this water. How could you not go? 
How could you not go? If you have any questions, comments, want recommendations, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment.